Hello and welcome to another episode of the Gold Diggers podcast, women's football episode. Um, I'm saying another because we're, you know, starting as we mean to go on. We're going to be consistent this season. I know we say it like every four weeks or whenever it is that we res- like, actually record. But this season, we're going to be so on it. You're going to be scared. That's and how- if we're not, call us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're trying please. to plan in advance, guys. So <laughs> yeah, like, please, please at us. us. Yeah, if we're not doing enough, please. And if you want to see more of something, let us know as well so we can incorporate that into the episodes. Um, let's get into it, guys. As we said, this is the Gold Diggers podcast. And just, you know, in terms of follows and things like that, please follow us on X at Gold Diggers UK, on Instagram at Gold Diggers UK underscore, on LinkedIn at Gold Diggers UK, um, on YouTube at Gold Diggers UK as well. And then individually, you can follow us at... At Lauren Coyes. Marva at Marva MSK. And Moya at Moya's Laboratory. Sweet. We're back. We are We back. are back. Um... Guys, the season is starting soon. Obviously, right now we're in the midst of like Champions League qualification rounds and stuff like that. I want to talk to you guys about transfers. Obviously, we've seen a lot of movement from clubs. You know, some clubs were getting added like six weeks ago (laughs) saying, why is everyone leaving? Like, you know, X, Y, Z. This is a, you know, everyone's leaving this club, X, Y, Z. That said club has, you know, signed a lot of people recently. Um... (laughs) Everyone's signing players. Everyone's signing players. I want to talk to you, Lauren. Let's start with you. Well, Might as well start with you. Up. Yeah, there's no warm-up. Well, there's no warm-up. <laughs> there's no warm-up. This is the warm-up. Straight to the point. <laughs> what are we saying? What are sp- Let's talk about Spurs' ends, first of all. Let's talk about ends. Okay. Um, to, be, to be honest, I'm a, I'm a bit concerned. Okay. Um, but we've got Claire Hunt, um, mm-hmm. centre-back. She had a great World Cup. Um, so I think... We needed to we needed some reinforcements in the defense, so I actually think she will improve the starting eleven, mm-hmm. and we've got good depth there. So good signing, obviously Hayley Rasso. Yeah. For an hour, I just felt like the best signing ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they knew what they were doing with that one. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Here's something nice." <laughs> yeah, before we snap it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I think. She's a signing where, realistically, in women's football, this happens a lot where you don't need to Google who they are mm-hmm. and where they've come from and yep. someone to show you the stats. Um, she unfairly didn't get many minutes, I think, at City. And obviously, she went to Madrid yep. um, last season. I think just, just to have an experienced player mm-hmm. like that, top quality, very exciting. Like, very, very exciting. And I think two years ago, she wouldn't, she wouldn't even look no. twice at us. So mm-hmm. I think it's shown that obviously we've developed... People want to come and play Completely agree. Um, for Spurs and play for our manager. So, yeah, like, but and then we've signed. Oh, I can't, the I'm, I'm on the girl. I'm on the um, tracker. <laughs> Shout out, girls on the ball for this tracker. Yeah, this thank you, guys. Honest really to helps. God, <laughs> best tracker ever. Yeah. Um, you um, guys also signed Ella Morris. Yeah. Um, I think. Do you know what? I think it works because we've got Ash Neville and Amanda Nilden as like our experienced fullbacks. Yeah. Then we brought in Charlie Grant. And mm-hmm. I think Ella Morris. Again, there's a lot of good talk about her. She's she's played really, really well in the championship. So I think to have two younger fullbacks mm-hmm. to complement our more experienced fullbacks, like it wasn't that long when we were saying Sayonara to Kes Harrop. So like yeah. we've really like yeah. come a long way in such a short amount of time. So <gasps> it, it was bad, man. <laughs> it, was, it was actually like it she was. She just caught a stray for no reason. <laughs> no, 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 like lots of respect for her, but we needed to we needed to improve yeah. and, and lower the <laughs> average age of the fullback position. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's enjoying <laughs> retirement. Um, mm, mm, mm. But, yeah, I think she'll be able to learn. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Like, And I think it shows the way that we want to play, like yep. flying fullbacks, um, fullbacks who are attacked. So, yeah, it feels like we've got like a good set of four now. So, yeah, we'll see how she develops. Love that for you, Lauren. I mean, it'd be wrong of us not to talk about some of the outs as well, because obviously there is movement in clubs. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, people come in. People leave. They leave and they right, go to other clubs. So smart, <laughs> I'm not. They, 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 <laughs> she's not even that happy like about that. this idea. Word, <laughs> word, word, word. Let me not. I'm not. I'm not crazy. The, the thing is, is I think United fans are taking more pleasure in the fact that, like, oh, I think in the we beginning of the transfer window, friend. yeah, <laughs> in, the, in the beginning of the transfer window, it was very much like. Grace wants to stay. Grace wants, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. thought Grace wanted. I, like I would not have been shocked if Grace Clinton mm. turned around and was like, "No, I actually want to go Spurs." In the same way that Kirsty Hanson, Kirsty Hanson last season was like, "Cool, I actually yeah, played a yeah, lot yeah, at Aston yeah. Villa." Carla Ward backs me. I want to stay. Cool. Um, 
so yeah, I think it's a bit of that. But please, Lauren, tell us your thoughts. Do you know what? Like, if anyone listens to the the preview that we did last season, the reason mm-hmm. why I was indifferent about signing Grace in the first place mm-hmm. is. I didn't want to, no offence, like Everton have this strategy mm. of taking players from the bigger clubs on loan, you develop them and then send, send them, them back, back and then it leaves you in a hole. Yeah, it does. And then you have to try and do that it's every true. single summer. So, like, that's why I was indifferent about signing her in, in the first place because I thought, well, if she has a good season, that's what position mm. we we're going to be in. Mm-hmm. And obviously, she had probably a better season <laughs> yeah. than, than any of us thought she would have. And I think it's natural. Like, if you've got a player on loan and they've played well and they're a key part of your team, you want to keep them. Of course. Um, so and then obviously there's a lot of noise about United like the women being moved out to the poor cabins Mark's going to stay but no one seemed to like him mm, all of these things so you're, you're there leaving. thinking yeah yeah, yeah. Thinking maybe we can keep her obviously we didn't mm, so you mm. think okay fair enough cool we'll just we'll just move on um and then, and then, yeah, then last, last, like I said, the rats are signing. We had one hour of announcement. Um, <laughs> it says, you know, you got 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes. <laughs> like, literally, it was kind of like, and even like our American fans probably maybe had two minutes yeah. where they, if they were just catching up <laughs> on the timeline. Um, yeah, and obviously, Celine is a United player now, mm. so... Marva, I want to know your thoughts actually on that signing because we spoke in the chat, all three of us, mm. um, about that signing. What are your thoughts on her going to United? It's a bit of a strange one for me because I, I don't think that, I mean, as we know and as I'm sure you will agree as well, Man United aren't particularly known for developing players or being like... Um, mm. Okay, let me rephrase that. For... But if there's someone who's a bit inconsistent, you're not like, oh, this is going to be the place where they can definitely go and shine, like, regardless. Yeah. There's going to be question marks around their development. Devil's Advocate here. Devil's Advocate, yeah. What club in the top four would you say is good at giving chances to players that aren't consistent? I actually want to know. Well, I think there's still... It depends on what type of player, because mm. I would say that um, while I don't particularly always rate Gareth Taylor, for example, but... Kiara Keating. Kiara Keating. And then also even, like, the way in which they play, there's quite a clear structure. Mm. So if you're going there in a particular position and you're going to learn your role even on the bench, yeah. that can still be a helpful process. Whereas, like, if you're going... And, and even, like, um, Chelsea, for example, like, people talk about just the standards that are there. Yeah. That you just learn so much because mm. of, like the training levels yeah, and yeah. the facilities even like yeah, the fact that that's still a mm-hmm. thing is crazy but um there can still be some progression in that sense mm-hmm. um and also it hasn't i wouldn't necessarily say with youth players at chelsea because i don't think they've yeah. particularly been great at bringing through the academy always yeah but they at least have a big squad they're in lots of competitions they have Agreed. that rotation you get some experience um but i think if if she was if Celine was a United player, I'd be like, oh, do you know what would be a nice move for you is to go to Spurs. Yeah, so <laughs> like, that I agree that's, with. That's actually. that's that's where I think she is in her development. Like, Same. I don't even think like I thought she was good for you guys last season, but I like, didn't her think finishing, she. I didn't think she was world class. Or like, was, no, like, her finishing was inconsistent. Like, I think my, she, my distress came is because she's my favorite player. Oh I'm not no, saying yeah, she's yeah, the yeah, best player. Yeah. I, I get why. Yeah. If I was a Spurs fan, I'd I'd get why you'd want yeah, to you, keep her, and I get why she'd be a key person that you'd want to build around. Like you, she be part of a group of people that you'd want to build around, yeah? And I think, I agree with what you're saying, Marvel, in the sense that, like, where she's at in her development and how raw she is still, I don't know if United is where she needs to be. I, I mm, certainly do not trust Mark Skinner to give her the minutes that she needs. Yeah, and I, I'm not she saying... She left PSG for a reason. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she was at a, a, a club where she wasn't getting enough minutes. Mm. And then... It was it was dwindling like her talent was dwindling and obviously with us she got a hell of an, an amount of minutes but there mm. were there were times like you can even go look back in my tweet when I'll be like ah, Celine Stocks they're not looking good today yeah. because she is an inconsistent player like when she's good she's fantastic mm. and that's why like I've always believed in her as a player because mm. I'm like yeah if she just keeps developing yeah we've got a top player but I think she's a top talent but she's not a top player and is United the Fair. right club to to get the amount of minutes that she needs. Because, like, if, if we, like, 
started this conversation on Grace Glinton where it, even somebody as yeah, good as Grace yeah, Glinton yeah, yeah. wasn't good in, de- deemed good enough a year ago I, to get the minutes that she would need I think the, at United. I think the Grace Clinton one was a tricky one. Mark handled it wrong, absolutely. Yeah. There's no getting around that. Whichever way you try and spin it, yes. She, the amount of games she needed to get to the level that she's at, yeah. I don't, I don't know if any... Especially the season that we did, that she didn't play. So, like, the season mm. she was still at United for half a season and then went to Bristol City for the last six months or whatever it was. We finished second that year. Two points off top, yeah. I don't know how we physically could have given her those minutes. The minutes that she needed. Like, in terms of, she actually needed to play as much as she played at Spurs. Yeah, I would and say, if anything, that loan worked. It was. And it's a, mm. a sign of a... Well, we'll see how much she... Yeah. She I, 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 the funny thing is, I actually do think Grace is going to play a lot. Yeah. I, I think... I'd be... I mean, if he... If she doesn't, then... I, I think Grace is going to play a needs, lot. They need her to sign the contract, so she needs to play. Yeah, and, and it's a funny one, because I think... He almost doesn't have an allegiance to anyone other than two now in that midfield. Yeah. Because in terms of, like, his staples... Yeah, like Katie Zellum. Katie and Zellum and was, there was like, no, no matter how she plays... on that team and, I, and I actually... Remember I used to say, I said, she used to annoy me with certain aspects, but I do see the value of her. I just don't like the fact that, like, regardless of how she plays, she just stays on, yeah? Hayley Ladd used to be one of those people, and then he sort of, like, second half of last season, he was just kind of like, boy, like, I'm not really feeling it. Like, Lisa Nelson started playing. Like, Lisa Nelson, I'm pretty sure, mm-hmm. played the, the last... Three months of the season, she started. Mm. And in big games as well. In big games. And she was someone that the year before, maybe got like one game. Maybe got one game. So like, I think, because I heard Mel Letizia say the other day, she was like, Mark has like said to her, reiterated her, captains can get dropped. And I thought that was interesting because it's like, for him to actively say that means he knows that there was a notion before that captains couldn't get dropped. But I think he's looking at a lot of these lot like you lot actually. You're, mid. <laughs> you're all like, they're, yeah, they're, no, like, you guys I are think, all on a level playing for. Yeah, like. I think there's impetus obviously for Grace to get a lot of minutes. Mm. I think Celine could get a lot of minutes at United, but I think the thing, sure. the thing about United is you could end up like a Miyazawa, yeah. or or you could, or you could end up like a Lucia Garcia, or you could end up mm. like a Jace. You don't know, and I yeah. think. For Celine in in the the point where she's at in her career, it's a big risk to take because if it doesn't work out, she will have to drop down a level again to 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 go and get minutes. So for Grace, no, no, for Celine, Celine. for like, Celine, yeah, yeah, I think great. Well, Grace, Celine, if it doesn't work out, she go back to Spurs. Whatever she decides yeah. to do, pardon. If Celine doesn't work out, she go back to Spurs. I'm sorry, the, the it'll, be, it'll be like it won't be close. It won't be close. It's that rotisserie. It's like then it's like all right, Villa, Everton. Like, we all just Liverpool. share the same players. They'll, they'll all yeah, let's be real. Yeah, there's like a certain. Like, although Liverpool finished ahead of us last season, so let me not even talk crazy, yeah. 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 But, like, no, there like, is a... Brighton, I mean? even Leicester can be... Like, there's, there's like, five clubs that will d- give yeah. or take. That's what she wants to do, man. Her fiancé plays in France, so... Yeah, what's time's worse? She goes back to France. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm at right now. I told you, I started to, like... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like when transfers happen and they bang, you're like... Oh, I'm committed to this play all that. I want them to do good. I want them to do good, yeah. When you go through a bad season, yeah, you start looking at everyone a bit like I don't know if I can I don't know if I can back you out loud. Like <laughs> you are proper throwing it in my face. Mm. Like the support and when you play mad, it's just like, what are we doing here? Yeah. yeah. To be fair, I think the the noise of the Celine signing isn't like it isn't hasn't been caused by it's if she kindness. wasn't friends with Grace Clinton like the, the, a, yeah. like not, the noise wouldn't have been what it yeah, was it wouldn't, it wouldn't. in that in that signing because I think the reality is of the player that you have signed that's is, the thing yeah like that's the thing. a great talent but like, has improved her overboard. consistency but yeah. she's she's not gonna be at like. Even an eight out of ten every single game. But that's just not her I, game. I do quite love these like dumb rivalries that start forming because yeah, it started yeah. from like FA Cup and the whole Grace I'm, thing, blah blah blah. I'm personally and then, I'm not involved. I feel like focus no, on your I, rivals. I know you're not. Man but, City, <laughs> Liverpool, Arsenal. Yeah. We're rivals. I that just, above you. But I do think it's good there. for the game. I'm like, it yeah. just creates more it, it narratives does, yeah. that are just they're dumb. They're stupid narratives. Like, why are Man United fans beefing with Spurs Thank fans? You. Over, essentially, a friendship and a TikTok page is bullshit. But it's quite fun. 
<laughs> yeah. like, please, I, it, within a month, within a month, yeah. no, because for me, I did mute block. I actually everything. think you say, yeah, but when when Spurs play Man United, and if Celine drops a howler, and so does Grace, you're gonna be there. You're gonna be with the kids. You're gonna be. Yeah, I know you. I'll be there no matter what. That's the one boy. thing. Like, yeah, last week my head was on blue. Yeah, but one thing that hasn't changed is that you have a hater in me. Yeah, for life. That's what I'm saying. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good yeah, it's, for the game. Yeah. It's good. It is, some it more is, dumb rivalries going. I love mate. it. Um, we might as well move on to United's Let's go. transfer. Um, you got a goalkeeper yet? No, we haven't. <laughs> Fallon is going to be our number one, like for sure. I yeah, think I feel like a goalkeeper market slim pickings. We, yeah. like, we, They're trying we, to get um, a number two. And the problem with getting yeah. a number two yet yeah, is that it has to be someone that... It's a tricky situation with getting a number two, yeah? Because you want them to be good so that if something happens to your number one keeper, yeah, you've got a good keeper. But no seriously good keeper it's gonna be on the is going to agree to be a number two unless you play for a team like Chelsea, yeah? But you're well, in, actually so, rotate you're go, And you're going to the end of every competition so that, like, even if I give you one cup, let's say I'm giving you all Conti Cup games and I'm giving you all FA Cup and I'm not going to give you any Champions League and I'm not going to give you any league, you'll take that. You're still probably going to play more games, yeah, for yeah, Chelsea yeah, yeah, as a number yeah. two than loads of number ones. Yeah. Loads. Mm. Than loads of number ones. So you'll be like, all right, cool. And I'm going to be winning stuff. I'll take it. I feel like the problem with the United is, like, you're not guaranteed anything, trophy-wise. You're not guaranteed anything league-wise. You're not guaranteed getting far in competitions. And you're going to be number two. Yeah, so, like, we're in the same position because, like, we had um, Flotikova. Yeah. Shout out her anyways for those North London double performances. Yeah. Uh, player of the match on her WSL debut. She's, she's gone, gone now. Yeah. Because she wasn't any better than Becky. Yeah, like, mm. yeah, like, she's... No, Czech Republic, back to her home country. Oh, okay, sweet. But she wasn't any better than Becky but now we don't have no number two and we haven't signed <laughs> one and it's like, bro, like we, sorry I'm not my my youth academy keeper is not who I see as number two that's the thing I think we're trying to get Leicester's we're trying to get Leicester's number one to be our number two but it's just like why would I agree to this exactly but and also I'm Leicester like, 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 we're going to get relegated I actually <laughs> think she might be on it but Leicester themselves will yeah, not yeah 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we did with Sophie Bagley like Sophie yeah. Bradley was Bristol City's number one, and I remember because she used to she used to be the Sophie Bradley of now, where she's like making off great, like pulling off great saves. She was like that before, but going to be a number two, it's a different prospect, and I think yeah, I think that's our next thing. I I will say, I think the signings we've made, I've been happy with. I do now think we're overloaded in the forward position, especially because. Before last season, it, like during the summer, we brought we brought in um, Emma Watson from Rangers and like mm. good prospect. She looks really good. Mark was like, he's going to play yeah, a lot yeah, of minutes. Yeah. I remember because he was like, she's going to play minutes this season. Like he likes what he sees in preseason. She's been fantastic. Obviously, she did at ACL. So then we brought in more people. Now the problem is now she's back. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Where do we Where do we go? Where do we go? Um, Wait, I hasn't, hasn't she gone on her? No, so wrong person. Yeah, she hasn't I gone on her. Can't even, can't even say. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, shout out this tracker. But. We brought in um, Janssen from Wolfsburg on a free. Do you think that's enough? In the centre-back position. I think he's thinking, worst comes to worst, uh, Gabby George, like, we've still got Ethan Manning, we've still got Gabby George. Mm. Um, huh? Yeah. But like, as in, obviously, not to like say. Yeah, but if you need, if what, someone to do, yeah, Gabby George can do a job. At Gabby George can do a job. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, there's a couple people that you can be like, yeah, they can do a job in at centre half. And I also don't think we've had touch words. We haven't had the, the injury crisis has not been at centre half. The injury crisis has been everywhere else. Fullbacks, I think that was the position. You guys know how I felt last season. Shout out Gemma Evans because I know she tried. But honest <laughs> to God, yeah, that that Arsenal game is imprinted. <laughs> In my brain, like, <laughs> I re- you guys already know how I feel. Like, mm-hmm. we, we did the wrong thing there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> even if we had injuries, my list is they should have gone to fullback. Yeah, it just didn't make any sense. Cool, we moved on. Gemma Evans has gone to Liverpool now. I think she's gonna do great there. She's gonna do well under Matt Beard. Matt Beard knows how to set up a defense. We that's one thing we can say. Yeah. He knows how to set up a defense, and I actually think she's a decent center back. She does not go full work. Which is not that's not her fault. Um, we made Mallard a permanent um, no. sign in, which I'm happy with. I think she showed her value. Yeah. Obviously, we've lost goals in Lucia Garcia. Um, and I think Mallard is someone that if she gets minutes, we know she can play out yeah, wide. She, she's a goal scorer. And we know okay, that she can play as a nine. 
So that's two options there. We brought in Elizabeth Turland from Brighton. Great that's a sign. serious signing. Sign. Like, I'm yeah. not going to lie. That like, was the bangs, one signing I wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, if she, if yeah, she bangs, yeah, yeah. then that could maybe like put that you back in the That solves a lot of three again. Yeah. 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 Turland, I think, is a great signing. We brought in Sandberg from Hacken. So she's a fullback. Um, she's looked really good. Um, and I'm hoping she does well. We brought in Simi Awujo as well from... This is our first professional contract she's playing in Canada or oh, she's playing in America um, college system but oh, she's Canadian okay. so in the same way that we brought in Jade Riviere okay. literally the same just like this is okay. their first thing but she's um, a holding midfielder which we which we needed yeah. I think the whole problem was that the only person that we were comfortable with playing at number six was Hayley Ladd but Mark Skinner wasn't really I think he knew what Hayley Ladd could bring but he wasn't completely sold mm. on the system um, and so we'll, playing around, he was around her as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and I think if she can bring some athleticism to the heart of midfield, it could be a great sign in. Um, and we, then obviously we, we, we've already used just that last name. Yeah, that last name is, is what it is. <laughs> you will not we've be named. Discussed it. <laughs> what uh, what are you rating United's transfer out of ten? I'm actually quite happy. I say seven and a half. Seven and a half. Lauren, what are you waiting? We're in Spurs transferring about 10. A six, because we're too, too light mm. in the midfield and we, we don't we, have a backup. We could here. maybe send people to you alone. No joke. <laughs> like, I know it, I know that sounds... Please, I've got, okay, it's enough now. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be so honest and I'll be comfortable doing it, yeah, because you when they go to Spurs, you know, they're going to play under a good... Do you know what I mean? They're going to get developed. Sorry, yeah, like yeah. I said at the start of this, <laughs> not I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not... And the thing is, Robert's already said that we're not doing that again. So... If they yeah. do, they're also going to be... They're going to have, like, HR be like, who are you getting close with? Yeah, yeah. Who are you friends with? No TikTok pages. <laughs> no yeah, TikTok yeah, pages. No, I, no, I don't. I don't. Like, the thing is, we're a club that we can develop young players, mm-hmm. but permanently and on loan. Like, we've still got your Jess Nash, your Amanda Nilberg, mm. like... Oh, sorry, Matilda Vinberg, mm. um, Charlie Grant. Like we've got good crops of young players and lots that of we need to buy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're we'll an Australian for you that you can. I'm not sure you're taking Australian. Yeah, we're, we're becoming the Matilda factory. <laughs> maybe Emma, Watts, the, the maybe Emma Watson the alone. It's good for Maybe market. Emma Watson alone. No, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah, you. You will reap the rewards if you get Emma Watson alone. I'm, I'm so, like. I don't want to take a player and we're just going to test out that knee to see how it's going. It's not test no out. No offence, man. <laughs> Sorry, we just lost to get going to ACL again. It's true. Yeah, like I, I, I won't fully fit. The one that we've just signed yesterday, I was like, why has she not made any appe- like that many appearances at the age of 24? Because she did ACL. So... Yeah, we're good, thanks. Okay, sorry. Thank sorry. you. We're not doing full I'm trying my best. Seats. I'm sorry. trying my best, Emma Watson. Like, this work as your agent is actually hard. Like, <laughs> go to Everton. <laughs> Listen, yeah, Everton okay. have actually done some fantastic yeah, yeah. business this summer. Mm. This is the first time I've seen Marvel at like, post, like, Maybe the last time we yeah. maybe the last time we saw her this happy no. about Everton was like when Benison signed. Yeah. Um, Marvel, please speak to us about Everton. Yes, it's like, it's interesting because when, funnily enough, when Benison went, mm, <laughs> this, yeah. this chance, I was a bit like, hmm, because that was early on as well. Yeah, it was. And, and I called it last season, I said, I think she's going to be the next one to go. And it has felt like we've gotten rid of a lot of our, like, actual talented players. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've had to sell them for, mm. I won't go into the many reasons of the ruins yeah. of my club. But anyway, we've had to sell them. And it was like, ah, oh, like, if if we now sell our next person because in the way we play football we've got our structure it relies and you saw it last season it relies mm. on having some talent and some yeah. actual creative talent because yeah. when you don't you're playing possession football okay if you can't play through the lines and you can't you yeah. don't have the yeah, technique to play sticky. possession yeah. football then what's the point of playing mm. possession football might as well go and do a dice and just try that that's not I working mean, either but anyway um, oh boy. <laughs> but it's boy. okay with <laughs> <a> break <laughs> but um but then mm-hmm. the signings start rolling through, and I'm yeah. like, "Oh, I'm not glad I was getting. Oh. I was just seeing Emma, Emma Sandy. Um, oh. I was seeing um, oh. M Sandy, yeah. new yeah. signing Everton. Yeah, Ever- 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 yeah. Tom, like, Tom Gary, new signing Everton. I said, what? I'm like, whoa. I like at some point we were like, please, it's enough. Let yeah, let, yeah. let, let yeah, somebody yeah, else yeah. sign someone. But yeah, so we've really bolstered up our midfield mm-hmm. and like um, 
wingers. I think uh, Tony Payne's really exciting. I thought she was brilliant for Nigeria in the World Cup. Yeah, fantastic. Um, Gabara is um, like really highly rated. Obviously, still yeah. very young, but like again, that kind of it fits that profile of like a technical, like gifted yeah. midfielder. Um, Hayashi didn't see that one coming. Yeah, that was random. Fair. That's exciting. Like it's it's. I can see what he's trying to do and yeah. like the way that we're going to then ex- be expected to play. Mm-hmm. Um, so all of that's exciting. However, <laughs> we still don't... I think we've got like two centre-backs. Um, Who needs centre-backs? And we play with... Well, we play with three centre-backs. <laughs> that's not <laughs> ideal. Um, Van Haven may had like turned... She was, she's got signed as a centre midfielder. Then she played most of the season at centre-back. Yeah. And at the time, I remember saying, is it just because she's tall? Like, this seems to be the only... Probably is. Yeah. 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 That'll um, do it. <laughs> And like we, if you look at um, not last season but the season before, our like starting back five or back four, when you had Gabby George, Bjorn, um, Saveke, um, and um, uh, Vai, yeah, all yeah. four of them have gone. So that and that was like a, a good. That's yeah, those that was, are four yeah, good really, defenders. Yeah. Obviously, I think with Saveke and her heart condition and stuff is separate. But like um, that to lose that talent. Mm. And that structure, yeah. Oh, you saw it last season, and like when Vey came back, it was like, oh, great. And that was sorry, that's a weird one. Her going to Palace, I did not it was, see that. It was but I think injury. She's not that consistent when it comes to injury, so maybe that's why. But I thought she was going to go to like a bigger club. Same. She's good, but maybe she's thinking Palace or not. Yes, maybe. Mm. <laughs> um, it's a type of club though. When when they've just come up, they just need a little bit of yeah. WSL experience. It's the London, it's the London, it's the London thing. Well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Rhea Percival's there too. Um, well, we sent her there. Um, last <laughs> <laughs> we sent her there. Yeah. <laughs> did, she, did she have a say? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is it's exciting, but I'm also like. Oh, strikes as well. Piemonte just left. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. random. Yeah, yeah. She was like start well playing in our preseason games, mm. scoring, and then she just left. We've only got one she actual centre forward. Home. It was it was all a bit it was all a bit, all a bit weird. Like like her, yeah. yeah, her statement was all about that and stuff. But she then mm. it, I don't, it was it's weird. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll find out more about that. But mm. um, to only have one actual recognised like centre forward because Tony Duggan's gone now as well. Yeah. Um, that is she still playing or is she retired she retired. She retired. No, she, I don't think she actually retired sorry yeah, sorry that I just sent you into retirement because <laughs> I, 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 I think we were expecting it and then she didn't announce it I don't think anyway. she's retired oh, maybe, she's, um, no, maybe she's just trying to get contract let's not say that for yeah, two more yeah, weeks yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah so I think there's still some quite glaring like misses in our team mm. and like a few injuries could see us be a bit um weekend but i'm excited to see some like hopefully some nice exciting football to bring back not last season but the season before some excitement would be nice i actually do want i do think it's better for the league we were saying this last time that like it's but it's much better for the league here when other teams are competitive yeah yeah, yeah. like obviously it's haha kiki nine nil like that's it's funny once or twice yeah? <laughs> yeah yeah it's not like when everyone is just Smashing teams 8 0. Like, you remember the beginning of last season when Bristol City were just getting hammered? It's just mm-hmm. like, what are we doing here? Yeah. And then it's like they find their footing. Now they're like, you know, it's still 0 0, 70th minute. Now we yeah, can build. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're trying to yeah. build on something here. And I think I think we'll see more of that this season because a lot of teams have made good moves, yeah. um, and it will make games more competitive. Mm, and I think it helps your like your Liverpool's, your Spurs's, mm-hmm. your Villas, who are trying to develop teams that can also take points off the top sides and yeah. we're starting to see that and if we get to see that consistently mm-hmm. it also just makes the title race more exciting because yeah, like I think was it the first time ever that, that you, it, you could lose more than, yeah more than yeah. three <laughs> games yeah or whatever it was so like it's it just makes it, for everybody it just makes yeah. the games better to watch mm. but then also like the title race is not a full draw conclusion and you don't have people losing their minds because they've lost one game and yeah. out of it so. it's also very funny to see West Ham be Arsenal and <laughs> it, it is it and is. Liverpool beat Chelsea from that was four set the most... pieces or whatever it was, three, seven. <laughs> that game might go into WSL Hall of Fame oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even it's already Emma's in there after... it's already in there <laughs> yeah. it, it is already in like, there what is happening here literally and it's like what? But how have they not learned yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was mad. It was yeah. Mad. I do want a couple games like that this season you know like a yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It might happen yeah. to your club, but it's all right. But that won't be a shock. That won't be a shock. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <a> difference. <laughs> that, won't be, that won't be a shock. Um, I'm going to touch here yeah, quickly on some like signings that were like 
interesting from other clubs. Um, and I'll just say, I want you guys to say one word you thought when this signing happened, yeah? Okay, cool. Um, Caldente to Arsenal. Um, exciting, but questionable. <laughs> okay, okay. Lauren? Exciting, but was that the signing they needed? <laughs> mm. um, Van Domsla to Arsenal. Um, smart. Smart but questionable. <laughs> yeah, is she going there to be number one? You think that's why I said questionable because now you don't. I think she'll end up number I, one I in the same so. in the same way that like when Chelsea brought in um, Hannah Hampton, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, is she yeah, going yeah. to be number one? But she is now. She I is think now. she will, but I just think it makes life. I feel, like I said, I feel Chelsea have been the only side really to show that you can manage having mm. more than one number one. Mm. I look at Arsenal, I think. Mm. Mm. It's tricky. Because they, they extended Zinsberg as well, so it's not even like... Yeah, they did. It's, yeah, it's not even like, oh, it's her last season, let's phase her out. She's still there. So I just think you, you could cause yourself a dressing room problem. Okay, Aston Villa now, yeah. This is one that I was shocked at, so I'll say now my word was shocked. Missy Bokerns to Aston Villa. Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Why? <laughs> How? <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Um... But Bra- did she say in her statement that she wants to play? Ignore that statement, man. I don't believe in statements. Like, I don't I believe in like any of that. Then it was just such a question mark as well. Like, I don't know. We don't what know what to, who they are yeah. right now. And what this is. Yeah. Like obviously, it could turn out to be a fantastic signing. Yeah, no one's yeah, saying yeah, that. But yeah. obviously, right now as it stands, is this she like? Hmm. Interesting. Just Especially from more from her perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Villas. So from Villas, it's like yeah, cool, good. Like I, that's nice. really great. Like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Katie Robinson as well, so you can yeah. see yeah, what yeah. they're trying to do. But I f- yeah, from, but from, from her perspective, I, I, I mean, I guess she wasn't getting as many minutes. Well, she was season. getting minutes. Yeah, like, that's getting minutes. Different. <laughs> she was, she was, like, even if I said she wasn't getting as many, but yeah, she was getting yeah, minutes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that's like your that's your that's your team, man. Yeah. You've just left, but hey. Okay, Brighton, Fran Kirby. What are your thoughts on that transfer, guys? For, for, for Fran or for the club? Both. Um, <laughs> for Fran? Maybe could have done better. For Brighton, very good signing. Do you think Fran could have done better, Marvel? Um, No. Fair. I, don't, I don't think so. Like, it, taking into consideration her, um, her injuries, mm. like... I, it's it's hard to know that she could have gone to like a yeah a better club and like be expected to deliver yeah. in the same way. Whereas I think when you go to somewhere like Brighton and and Brighton are an odd one because they've they can do okay. They like can. they're inconsistent. They're they inconsistent, are. but like, but they'll have some games that you'll be thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Nah, you lot are good." Mm. Literally. Um, so yeah, I think. Given like she has sort of come to the end now, you yeah. can see in terms of like uh like how consistent she can be. But she's I think it's it's a I don't think it's too low for her, I don't think it's too high for her, I think it's quite a good match. I would have taken cool. Kirby, man. We could have just done the rotation with Drew Spence because we only get sixty minutes <laughs> out of both of them. <laughs> Actually, I could, uh, the, the I, w- I would have gone to Spurs as well if I was yeah. Fran. But I think Chelsea fans may have Winston, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a difficult, yeah it's, a diff- it's a difficult transfer to make. Brighton is well, like, no, previous. there's no jeopardy there. It's just like, yeah. I just go, you lot don't really care. There's about 50 million Chelsea, ex-Chelsea players at Brighton anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's not, yeah. it's Chandler not a big deal. Gone there as well, isn't yeah. she? She's a decent midfielder. Okay, on these ones, we need one word answers, yeah? Okay, sorry. One to two, one to two. Chelsea, Sandy Baltimore. Um, Sonia signing. I'm just going to say top, mm. as in top signing. Mm. But what I want to say is, Arsenal, what are you doing? Yeah, I agree. I actually agree. Maybe doesn't fit the diversity and inclusion. <laughs> I'm not involved. Sorry. I'm not involved. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Lucy Bronze to Chelsea. Depends. <laughs> uh, depends on role. I'll say that. Um, the attacking Lucy Bronze, fantastic. Defensively, good luck. I disagree, but I actually think Lucy. Listen, I listen. <laughs> I, I know I said one word in all this, yeah. 
I think Lucy Bronze gets shitted on way more than she deserves yeah. to be, yeah. But because she gets praised. Yeah, yeah, because they overhype the praise. Way more than she deserves yeah. to be. So, but I genuinely do think her base level is still at a good level. I think it's still at a good she, level. I'm not saying she's a bad player, but sometimes she's so far up that pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get counterattacks. But I think in a team like Chelsea, that's going to have like 1 million percent percent. Like, yeah, let's yeah, be yeah. real. Like, and. I think Lucy Bronze's best performances last season actually came towards the end of the season in the Champions, Champions League, League when she was agreed. asked to be just their de- like defensive just, anchor. just be defensive. Yeah, yeah. And I thought she put in this. like Champions League final one of the best defensive performances I've seen. That second um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. semi final against Chelsea, mm-hmm. very very good defensive performance. Agreed. The problem with her is that her legs aren't the same as what they used to be. So when she's trying to do both <laughs> mm. and trying to get up the pitch and be old Lucy Bronze who can trap back and sprint and yeah, it's, mm, it's and not going to happen. That's for me. That's why it's a question mark because. She wasn't. Yeah. She wasn't signed to beat Palace mm. and all of those. She was signed for the big games. Yeah. So it's going to depend what her role is yeah, in the big that's, games. That's why it's like it's. Just, is she there to be their starting right back throughout the whole? Like they're just number one mm. right back. But if if they use good squad rotation, then I think she can be a, a good asset. Okay, Palace. Uh, Josie Green from Leicester City to Palace. Mm. She's Tottenham, okay, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> experience needed yeah like sensible okay um let's start signing ruby mace um i'll say good for her yeah yeah i'm glad she stepped down a level mm. so she needs minutes yeah yeah what like what was she doing last season what, was, what was the point of that what, what was actually the point of that <laughs> I, d- I do think it was a wasted year yeah. and I know that people will say yeah but she got to learn from Steph BFFR do you know what I mean like yeah, guys yeah, let's like, actually be serious you need to play, you need to play football and she's learned from Steph before she learned yeah. there's actually about 50 million people she's learned off yeah in the years prior to last year mm. last year she needed to be playing mm. like there's only so long yet that you can be like oh I'm learning off this yeah yeah be serious exactly your age mates are playing now we're playing last season and got into the England squad last season. Your, your, your age mates are at, playing, and at a time, yeah, when England was the England squad was being more receptive to bringing mm. in players. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, Liverpool signing Gemma Evans. I'm so I know we're talking about one word answers, but I think I'm quite surprised that Liverpool haven't done more business this this transfer window. Agreed. I think they spent a lot of their budget last season. <laughs> No, Boy. who was the player? And then they spent the Canadian girl, and they spent a lot of money on her. Olivia Smith. One second. Thank you for the tracker. <laughs> yeah. Olivia Smith. Yeah. yeah, I think they spent a lot of money yeah. on one signing, which could come back to bite them. Okay. But also, like they had a good squad last season, though. Yeah, but you yeah, need but to refresh. Got, and they've got, like, they've got rid of quite a few players. They have. They have. Koi Visto's mm. gone, Mel Lolly's gone, Miri Taylor's gone, Van der Sanden gone, Missy Joe Kearns. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? Like, these are players yeah, yeah, that yeah. even if you only had Big them for four games, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. there was, there was, Van like, Van der Sanden came, on, came on, won them the game. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, okay, Man City signing Viv. Um, we can do more than one one answer on this. No, I'm, I'm just going to say, love it. Yeah, love. I think if if she can get back to full like full, full fitness, yeah. fantastic I, signing and a signing that will win in the league. I don't even know if it's a good signing. It's hard to tell. But, but you love it for the I, league. I, yeah, love it for the fair. league. Fair, fair, fair. And they played each other first game, innit, Matt? Hey! You know the script writers on that one. <laughs> yeah. It's the same way that um, it was Emirates United well. versus Arsenal last season yeah, when yeah, Russo yeah, was yeah, at yeah. least... <laughs> like, we know what they're doing. Um, West Ham signing Shalina Zodorski. Can't you can take that one. Um, yeah, you can take that one, Lauren. Experience needed, I think. Yeah, I mean, she was there on loan, like, second half of last season, yeah. so it makes sense. I think yeah. Rianne Skinner is Rianne Skinner. Yeah. And, she, yeah. Yeah, I'll say expected. Yeah, I mean... I mean, to be fair, I actually do think West Ham have had a decent window mm. um, in terms of there were clear big gaps in that team mm. and a lack of quality. And I think she... Rihanna's tried to address that. Good yeah. luck with the tactics. Okay. It's my... <laughs> mm. But I think them losing, like, um, what's, in, uh, what's her name? Shimizu to City and stuff like that. That's where you think, mm, yeah, yeah, could struggle. Agreed. But, yeah. Um, that's the end of transfers. We're going to move on to predictions, yeah? We did predictions last time. So we'll do predictions and then um, we'll touch back on this mid-season. 
I, I, by the way, whatever comes out of my mouth is going to be a reaction like now. Like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm right. still this deciding. Minute. I still. That's because you guys. There say, are so many things. Say, I, you guys always say Arsenal. <laughs> I don't know. I said Chelsea last year. I said Chelsea last year. Yeah. Okay. Who did you say? For what? You said, you said last year. For the league. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Said I, think we said, I think we all said Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, I think. Yeah, it was the, it was the, year, it was the year before. Yeah, I think so. Any Chelsea. Okay, winner. I don't want to be blinded just by the fact that I've just seen Chelsea slap up a slap up a team. <laughs> a team nine 0 You know what? I'm going to go different, even though I think it will be Chelsea. <laughs> I'm going to say no, nah, no. Nah, I'm saying Chelsea. I'm saying Chelsea. Yeah, just just. Uh, Man City well, came so close. I know, though. and I think Man City will come close again. Um, Lauren, winner. Uh, yeah, I'm still saying Chelsea, even though I think the only reason why City didn't win the league last season because Bunny got injured right at the end of the season. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it, it doesn't look like Sonia's going to need a ramping up period. No, I mean. So if she doesn't, that was already the best squad in the league anyway. So, it was just yeah. It was just that I was like, City came so close. It was one game, essentially, that lost them the title. Mm-hmm. Do I expect... Uh, a new Chelsea to maybe slip up a few more times compared to last season but I don't know I don't know if they were, I, I also don't trust Gareth Taylor that much so I'm, I'm going to go Chelsea runner up City City same oh sorry I, I was Chelsea for the first one as well yeah. and I'm City for this next one as well yeah so it's consistent so far um, third so to cap the top three Arsenal, Arsenal. yeah I'm the same <laughs> I do think United will come fourth though this time. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, same. same. <laughs> if that mean, if that means anything. Um, <laughs> yes. And then, I'll wait, isn't it? Won't won't fourth? Oh no, it's just it's just yet. the top three yeah, from yeah, the WSL. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I swear they the the way that they're doing it though, you can't qualify from fourth in the league. You can't qualify for the Europa. It's to for for the dub for the WSL. It would be the team if the right. um whoever not. Who either comes third but wouldn't qualify for the Champions League, they would drop down. I don't think your fourth place will get it. Oh, is it? So yeah, I think it's, the, it's the, the top ranked maybe five nations won't allow the ex- won't get the extra league place Why? for the for the Europa it will be if they don't qualify Why is for that the fair? Champions League. We need to write yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> if anyone knows, there's nothing, if to, anyone play, knows there's nothing to, to email for, like yeah. for the teams trying to close the gap. If anyone knows who to email so that we can write, guys, mm. please send that through to mm-hmm. us. Um, who is winning the soon to be renamed Conti Cup? Um, I, I'm just gonna say Man City. Why not? Yeah, City. Um, actually, wait. Maybe I'll go Arsenal for Conti, and then I'll go City for FA Cup. So Arsenal, Lauren, your Conti Cup. Still City because I think that that Conti Cup always the reason why I'm it not always saying Chelsea, Chelsea it, it always yeah, it's because it's Chelsea. after the end of when they have to have that awful February is it awful February awful March whatever it is of all of the games so yeah I'm gonna go City Conti Cup and FA Cup Chelsea okay I don't think I'll see my team in the final again but you never know <laughs> okay cool miracles can happen Conti Cup I'm going. Conti Cup, I'm actually going Chelsea, you know. FA Cup, who were your answers? I'm going to go City. Chelsea, FA Cup. Even though Chelsea should not be allowed to compete. I think it's called the Women's League Cup now. Should not be allowed to compete in there. If you don't start the competition, you shouldn't be able to drop down. Yes, you think? And we're still, I'm, we're, I'm still on that horse. I'm going to go... It seems crazy because I'm trying. I'm and also, essentially saying also that Chelsea might do the trouble. Yeah, I, you I think just, Chelsea do the trouble. I, I was just about to say, yeah, I actually do think Chelsea are going. But in fact, no, I'm going to put City FA Cup. Yeah, I'm going to put City FA Cup. I just think Chelsea are going to put too much into Champions League. They like that is okay. Relegated. Oh. Sorry, guys, we have to vote for someone. So if it's your team, hold that. Uh, no, it's it's not that. It's more. It's just like it's just. Is it the club that just comes up, gets relegated again? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. know if Palace have got in. <laughs> I don't know if Palace have done enough. So, but if Palace have done enough, then West Ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's I'm like Palace or okay, West Ham, so but I'll go. I'll go Palace. Yeah, I think Palace. You're going well. Palace as well. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you to them, anyways, because it's a shorter tri- sort of trip to travel <laughs> to games. Because I can't lie, when it was looking like Sunderland, I thought, like, mm. yeah. I'm gonna go Palace as well, and I'm actually sorry. 
Yeah. Um, I, I hope it isn't. Yeah. So, because I just don't I think hope it's, it's less Hammersmith. Yeah. yeah. Top scorer, Banisha. Um, is she fully back from injury? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. so. Is she fully back from injury? She played, no? Even if you give her two games head start, I think she'll be fine. Same. Yeah. Marva, who are you? No, I'll go Bunny Shaw as well, but I think uh, Myra Ramirez will come close. I think, yeah. I'm going to go Bunny, but I agree that Myra's going to come close. You will push her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because as well, yeah, Bunny has more of a knack for stat padding. Mm-hmm. Myra's kind of like, I could score... Yeah. I don't know. Did you see what she did on the last day, Moya Lesson? No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I, I will not. Myra's going to get 20 goals, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Like, that's how peak she is. But also, like, the way Chelsea are set up, they never really. Obviously, Sam Kerr scores a stupid amount of goals, yeah. But they are. The way I think they're going to set up yeah. next season is they're going to split those goals around like a Baltimore lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think everyone Aggie's going to be playing back. some games. I think. Um, the, you know, Lauren James is going to be getting her goals. Sam yeah. Kerr, by the time she comes back, going to be getting... Like, there's a lot of people that have to get goals in their team. And that's the only reason I think Bunny. Um, Champions... Champions League. That's the final predicts. Winner. Winner. Barcelona. Again, sorry, they signed what's they signed what's it, Kika. Yeah. Um they got the striker now, Pio. I never know how to say her name. Mm-hmm. But the Polish girl. Um mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, um, I'm betting against her. Marva. Imagine Chelsea just win the Champions League. I just can't Emma see Emma Hayes might actually put her head down. Sorry, well. like Mappy you know that... fully fit again. If they keep Kira Walsh and she does actually end up staying there. Yeah, the uh, only the only thing for me is Barcelona's defence like has has they, been they, sus. They were a little bit close to losing to Chelsea there. Yeah, they were a little bit close to losing to Chelsea. <laughs> Um, they were a little bit close to losing to Wolfsburg before. Yeah. They were a little bit close. Do you know what I mean? I think Mappy Leon's back there to organise that back line. I do, yeah. But I do think when you've had time off, yeah. Obviously, it's not time off. It's not like she's just been blinking <laughs> off. She's not just been blinking off. But like, she's had time away. She's back towards the end of last season, though. So yeah, she's but it's going to take some... Season. Yeah, her and Engen together, centre-back. I mean... <laughs> yeah, by, the time, by the time it gets round to the finals, she'll be fully fit. It's true. Um, so, I'm I'm gonna stick my neck out. I'm gonna say Chelsea. Nice. Why not? Be different. Hi, Emma Hayes' head would be on. Pluto. That's why I'm quite Pluto. Pluto. They win that in, a, in the first year after she's gone. That's why I'd be quite um, bad. I'm gonna go Barca as well. Um, okay, we've locked in those predictions, guys. Everyone happy? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I made. Uh, they I mean, just who's came gonna, who's gonna shoot me if we get it wrong? True. So. True. <laughs> um. What we're going to do now is this little segment called In Order To, yeah? And I'm going to give you guys scenarios and then you just say whatever your answers okay. are, yeah? Okay, cool. cool. I never understood that in the agenda. You know? I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for... Thank you. No problem. Okay. Okay. In order for you to say that your clubs have had a good season, what needs to happen? Just one sentence, if possible, two. I've got an easy answer. Go for it. Not being a relegation battle. Valid. Um, Marvel supports Everton, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. <laughs> for me, fifth. Finishing fifth. For you to say it's been a good season, do you think you could Do you think you could finish sixth and say you've had a good season? No, because then we wouldn't have improved. What if you get better points? Sorry. Do you get Do you get pity? Sorry. Or it's a position. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I want to be best of the rest. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, that's our, but that's the target is to replace Liverpool. Okay, cool. Even though Liverpool actually finished two places above us, Boy, I'm yeah, just literally. expecting you guys naturally to go back to fourth. So. If we finish fifth, Mark is getting signed. So, boys. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, I actually think he will. Um, okay, in order for you guys both said Bunny, in order for Bunny to finish top goal scorer, what needs to happen? In order for her to finish, top goal scorer, just does exactly like does, does someone else need to like? Does it need to be like? This person plays well. Does it need to be... Oh, everything's just all on her. She as needs to not as, get injured. Yeah, if she, if she stays fit and plays the amount of games that that she does, she'll she'll be that top scorer. I don't I don't doubt that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, just for her to to not get injured. I mean, she got injured at the end of last season and still... And still top scorer. Top scorer. <laughs> okay. In order for Arsenal to get into the top two, yeah, 
what needs to happen? Um, City needs to flop. <laughs> so do, do you think, yeah, Arsenal getting into no. top two is all on the other two not to, uh, uh, achieving what they okay, need to? Okay, now, what I will say, I think if um, if they figure out the balance or, between Caldente, Russo, and then uh, their winger situation... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, given that there's two weeks left of the window, mm. for me to think that they'll finish top two, they need to go and put some pace in their back line. Fair. Um, in order for Russo to get into the conversation of being top goal scorer, mm. yeah, what needs to happen? Same answers before, they need to figure out the Caldente Russo True. balance. Um, for me to be to cheat, what is in for her to be there? In the conversation, in the because we, we put, we put the the Mara she's Mara. a person number nine. That's what she. <laughs> Wait, in the conversation of one of the best strikers, or no, nah, to to be in the conversation of getting top goal scorer, top goal scorer. Yeah, she needs to do extra finishing practice. I think she's a good finisher. So I actually she's think she's she doesn't get into goal scoring positions yeah, yeah, enough. I actually think she's a good that's finisher. What, she needs to be a number nine. She doesn't play as a number nine generally. I As think, in, like she, her position on the pitch, but yeah. her, her playing style. Yeah. Um, she, she has great attributes when it comes to dropping back. Yeah. Playing like even when it was her and like Miedma in those few mm. games, it's like they're basically switching positions. Mm. Um, and that's why I, I, we were a bit like not sure about the Caldense signing because it was like, well, where is she going to fit in that? Now yeah. it seems okay. Cool. They're just playing Marona on the left wing. Yeah, yeah. Um, which that could actually work in Russo's favour. So she for sure. Barcelona um, in towards the end, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, and then it depends on the number 10 behind her. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think if she pushes out the pitch, but I just don't think that's her style. She's not She's not a poacher in that way. She's got more to her game, which is great, but it's, yeah. Um, for me, for me, like, but, I, I, I get I, to be fair I agree with you in terms of that she, she needs to get herself in goal scoring positions but for me when she is in goal scoring positions can you honestly sit here and say that she's as clinical as, as Bunny Shaw and Myra Ramirez because no. it's not just about like we know that Bunny and Myra mm. will also get themselves into goal scoring yep. positions but if you're if you're watching if you're if you had all three of them to take a chance um, you would put Russo up last in terms of your confidence of them to score valid um, in order for United to break into the top three, what needs to happen? Uh, you change the manager. <laughs> I was just to say, psych your manager. <laughs> do you actually think that's the only solution? Because he's gotten into the top three before. So, do you know yeah, what I mean? But... It's, it, as in, it, okay, cool. Manager's staying right now, okay, this cool. season. In order for United to get into the top three, what needs to happen? I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's impossible. And I don't, I don't mean to Valid. be, I don't, yeah. I just think the, the, the standard I, that, that Arsenal are now coming back into now that their, their squad's fully yeah. fit. Now Gareth Taylor's like got a squad that's ticking because they don't make that many signings. Mm-hmm. I just think the actual bar has moved on mm-hmm. and yeah. I don't think Mark Skinner has moved his tactical plan within games on. Mm. So there's just a gap. Mm. I would say that like have a settled starting eleven. Because it just they had they seemed to not know what their best starting eleven was, particularly when it came to their attackers, particularly when it came to their number six. Mm. Um, so yeah, valid. Because I think that's kind of what happened with City. It was like, oh, we don't really know what's going to happen with their squad. Mm. Haven't signed too many players, and it was like, oh, they just sort of settled on what their actual eleven is and how they play, and then you, they went on a crazy winning streak. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen with United, but you never know. Yeah, <laughs> I. I will contribute to this one. Yeah, I think in order for United to finish in the top three, they need to not drop points to the teams not in the top three. <laughs> you were thinking, what's the best, nicest way yeah, I can I say, say that? I was going to say below them. Looking at Spurs and Evan no, I was, I was going to say below them, like the teams below them. Like, but then she remembered the Liverpool one. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's actually what happened. So like, I think United last season, yeah, dropped so many points points to teams outside of that whoever finished in the top three that they actually they made it so that the other teams in the top three just knew they were in the top three regardless Mm. like off the top of my head yeah we didn't beat Liverpool last season home or away we did not beat them last season that is I think I think we lost both or we drew one um, we lost at at Lee Sports Village yeah and I think we I remember the other game now. I can't That's remember if we lost or drew. What one happened first? Lee, Sp- Lee Sports Village. 
because that one we were one nil up and we yeah, lost two, two one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I can't remember the other game, but also I could have pushed remember. it to the brinks of my brain. Yeah. But like at a minimum, we dropped four points there. Yeah. At a minimum, it could have been six. Yeah. We dropped points to Brighton. We dropped points to Leicester. Like, you please drop, be you serious. Points to us as well. We dropped points home, to Spurs. Spurs. <laughs> we dropped points to Spurs. We dropped points to Leicester. I'll be real. The one that was the most sickening was Leicester. Leicester yeah, and yeah, Liverpool yeah, was just yeah, like yeah. it was actually crazy scenes. Like yeah. that alone, yeah, no joke. It was te- it was a, at a minimum ten points. So it's not even simple. Like I know that like, everyone likes to get get bogged down in like, oh, well, you didn't beat any of the top three. I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, you have to beat the rest first. To, to, you can yeah. beat the rest, not beat the top three, and still get into mm. the way points the are getting dropped take right points now. Off each other and this is what games. I mean. Like you could, if we'd have not dropped points in our other games and we lost to every single person in the top three, we still could have gone in the top three. So we need to take care of stop underestimating people and just play your game. Um. Okay, that's the end of my in order twos, by the way. <laughs> you know, I was just off the dome. Um, we've got some listeners' questions. Um, listeners' questions. Is there anyone on your radar to watch this season? That's Ooh. on Philippa. Good question. Oh, damn. My stock answer is um, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you going to say? Uh, the last two seasons, I always say Celine. <laughs> You can still don't say watch Celine. <laughs> you, don't can watch. Still, you can still say Celine. <laughs> no, don't watch her. I would say um, K- Kavaji. Kav- okay. So, yeah. To be yeah. fair, like she, she, um, she looked good. Um, just because I'm, I'm always, I'm just gonna choose the Spurs player, Jess Nas. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, Faye asked, "Do you think Chelsea women can finally win the Champions League?" Well, I predicted it, yeah, so exactly. I guess I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, guess I think so. <laughs> yes, Faye, but in my opinion, not this season. But I, yeah, I think you will. Yeah, and I, and I, although I predicted Barca as my answer, mm. I do think Chelsea could win the Champions could League this yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they could. could have won it last yeah, year. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And and I do think they're equipped enough to win yeah. it. It's just a case of if they'll do it. But yeah. they they definitely can. Yeah, they definitely what, can. What will actually help Chelsea is that. Having a manager that has just lost to Barcelona in that final, mm, yeah. So we'll understand the tactical adjustments and yeah. where it went wrong for her with a different team. So you never know. Um, Finley asked, "Who has won the window so far for you?" Ooh, probably Chelsea. I think they've they've kind of gotten rid of a lot of. I don't want to say dead weight, but you know. <laughs> Yikes! <That. laughs> just can't. Just Yikes. wait. No, 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 no. no. Yes. She's the one. Yikes. She's the one that was a bad. On, yeah, like, I a, think that was a bad a, loss. A bad mm-hmm. loss on their part. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think they have a very big squad, so it, that can be very difficult to transition in and out of. But I think they've actually done quite a good job of getting rid of the players that it's like cool. They're not going to be needed too much. Um, some really smart signings. Um, yeah, Carter is the one that is a bit. Yeah, sus. It's sus. Um, but I think generally they've brought in some really exciting talent mm-hmm. and some experience. Um, and they've seemed to gel quite well already and with the manager. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say Chelsea as well. I, mm-hmm. you, I think what, what Chelsea have been really smart in mm-hmm. is letting players go, yeah, who probably won't play so much, but then th- but that's freed up enough players for Sonia to feel like this is her team. Yeah, um, agreed. So I think, like, they're already packed for talent. They have the best squad in the league. Mm-hmm. And she's been able to retain those, like, those players, but she's also, it doesn't feel like Emma Hayes, it, I don't think it will feel like Emma Hayes' mm-hmm. team anymore. So yeah. I feel like they've just, they've just got it right. And obviously Jess Carter's a tough one, but at the same time, it's not like if it's, he, irrepl- it's an yeah, irreplaceable yeah, skill set. Yeah. As, as a fullback, <laughs> Let's be serious. If, as a fullback, for example, if you've replaced Jess Carter with Lucy Bronze, like I still think Jess Carter is the best one v one defender in the league. Well, she's not in the league anymore. Yeah, but I think from a it does, from a personality less, like, point of view, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you haven't, you haven't damaged yourself too much. Also, yeah. like I'm sorry, but you've got like Baltimore. LJ, Myra Ramirez. Exactly. And, that's before, and Sam Kerr to come Sam, back. That's when you need a, even back. When you need a psychological and lift. Sorry, and that's Michigan. also not including Macario. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So, even Aggie Beaver-Jones. Like, that actually boy. takes us into our next question. Someone said, which 
stri- which Chelsea strikers will play the most often this season? Do you think once Kurt is back? So what would be your? Um, I Kurt was. Yeah, once so including Kurt. Yeah, I'm gonna name up some of the names that are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. To give you an idea. Is it Sandy Baltimore, LJ, Kerr, Myra, Macario, Beaver Jones, me official, Micah, and JRK? As in Guru Wrighton. Well. Guru Wrighton isn't even in the list of that what you just named. Boy, Guru might have to go to midfield though. Yeah. No, because that we saw that for Norway and that was horrendous. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, boy. Um I'm gonna go front four and almost if you're playing a 4-2-3-1 yeah. okay, cool. to make life easier. Um You've got to find a way to get Ramirez and Kerr into the team if they're all fully fit. For me, that is, personally. That might be illegal. It might be. <laughs> um, that actually might be illegal. LJ off one of the widths. Um, I mean, I, for me personally, I love Guru Wrighton. Like, I, like she's yeah. one of my favourite, like, non-Spurs players. So, like, me, I would put her there. But mm. the luxury of choice, yeah. that's, uh, that's on your hands. Must be nice. I, I actually don't know. I think you'd... I don't know if you can put... Ramirez and Kerr together. Same. I, I want to see it. I think though. you may be... I want to see it once or twice. It's oh, yeah, really yeah, ball, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I, I actually think, like, Myra's is actually four, really... Four, Myra's really good on the ball. <laughs> really So, so good. in terms really of, good. like, I feel like Sam Kerr could play ahead of her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she could, because, like... Or even on, like, the wing. Is Robin and Love has a sickness of playing Beth Mead and Martha yeah. Thomas together. But then I love LJ in that position. you need somebody who's really good on the... Sorry. I was about to say, do you have Beth Mead in your team? Beth England. I mean, like, Apologies. I didn't know you had Beth Mead in your team. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He, has a, he, he keeps playing um, Beth England and Martha mm. Thomas together, but nobody has that... Neither one of them have that 10 ability because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not good enough on the ball. Whereas you, I, I actually think Myra could play slightly deeper, hold the ball up. Yeah, and then play, play with Kerr. Oh, that is a scary. Yeah, thought. I want to um, see it. So hopefully yeah. Sam's back soon. Yeah, I think mine will probably be like right now. While Sam Kerr isn't there, obviously I just go Myra. Yeah, and I go Sandy LJ, but I'd love LJ in the ten. So like, mm. it's a tricky one. Who would you have on the left? I could go Macario. I could. I'd probably go Sandy Baltimore actually on the left. I'd go Myra on like through the center. I did actually really like JRK that second half of yeah. last season. Was, she had a fantastic like yeah. second the half of last season. Of from her peak. first season, even in pre-season, to last season she was, yeah. Yeah. And as I'm Havano saying, as well looked she looked good. Yeah. And, and I think if you go those stats. three and then LJ in the ten. You know what? Maybe they're winning the quadruple. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is the most stacked team uh, I've seen yeah. in in a while. Because like, even if they're tired, like you, we haven't even we didn't even mention Aggie's name. Like all of these people, like so even Aggie, if they're tired, Aggie's they're, gonna like, get minutes this season. Yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah. And the thing I like about Aggie is she knows that at Chelsea she just has to be efficient. Yeah. That's the truth. And and she's because if you'd have given her thirty minutes in someone else's team, she ain't scoring. What she's. <laughs> She she knows, yeah, I'm going to have 30 minutes to show them what I can yeah. do. She's going to like, mentality. Do you know of her as well? Like, have you heard her like, be interviewed? Mm-mm. She did She's that interview so with, young. Um, with Emma Hayes. Um, Bro, she season. is like so well spoken, mm. so intelligent, so like full of life. I would expect so with a s- like, double barrel surname like Peter mm-hmm. Jones. <laughs> to be fair. In all fairness. I don't Agnes. even mean well spoken in that way. Yeah, I yeah. just mean like... She speaks well, yeah, yeah. But her age, yeah. the way she talks about the game, the way she like, I'm like, she's going to... She the gets electric, yeah. proper minutes, she's going to be like the face of England in the next Me. few years. Boy, big shout and I love that. Um, no, fantastic. That's the end of our listeners' questions. And the end of our episode, actually. Um, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. <laughs> Wait, are we going to do a bold statement each? Oh, yeah, bold statement, quick. Go f- quick. Why do I have to go first? Mama, Mama you go first. Um, yes, yeah, you brought up. Uh, <laughs> um, just, all right. Um, Everyone will do better than Liverpool this season. That is a bold statement. Wow. Um, we're winning another North London derby this season. Mm. United <laughs> will win a game against the top three at Old Trafford. Oh, I think that's bolder than mine. <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> guys, 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 gu
<laughs> Sorry, I, I want to change my quickly. I just slightly also. United will win a game against top three. the top three at, at home. A big, no, at a big stadium. Oh, well, oh okay. Okay. so like for example, like if you if we go Emirates, Emirates or, if we okay, go. Cool. As he had, if we go Old Trafford, yeah. but it has to be against one of the big three. I think, um, with mine, <laughs> disclaimers, <laughs> I actually think Liverpool will probably beat us for the first time at Anfield. Doubt it. Um, They've got, you've actually could put a hex on them. But I don't know, I, I don't know if they'll actually be worse than us, but I just think compared to last season where I predicted they will do really well, mm. I think they won't do as well and we'll do better. Uh, but whether that means we'll actually do better than them, I don't know. Mm. Oh, also, I think Man City just, this is completely with no backing. I just think Man City are going to crash out of Champions League. I do love a Champions League crashing up. I'm just going to... I don't even know why, but just, just for the fun of it. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, there Bunny, you have Bunny it. will have to put them on her back. Into there, a Vince fit. there you actually have it. Some bold statements to end it. Um, as we said, guys, in the beginning, please follow us on Twitter. Sorry, X on Gold Diggers UK. On Instagram at Gold Diggers UK underscore. On LinkedIn at Gold Diggers UK. And subscribe on YouTube at Gold Diggers UK. This has been all of us. Oh, we'll bring back Unfiltered next episode. Yes, yes. When the unhinged tweets start rolling yeah, in yeah, and yeah, start yeah, yeah, the yeah. season kicks off. Exactly that. Have a good one, guys.